Today I will be showing you guys my homebrewed Wii menu and all that has in it. Let's go. Okay, now that we are in the menu, I will be showing you the basic stuff that I have inside the menu. Starting off first with the CD player, uh, the, the game player, insert disc. This is, um, I'm playing Mario Galaxy, so yeah, that's cool. Here's the me channel, of course, has some me's there, made like Walter White and like System of Down members on it. The photo channel I don't really use, but it looks good in the menu. Um, same with this, the Wii channel, I mean the Wii Shop channel. Well, no one really uses this channel anymore since it's shut down. We only just like use raw hacked versions of it and stuff like the Open Shop. Well, not Open Shop, that's for something else, but... Here is the homebrew channel, and this one I will be opening up to show you guys some of the stuff I have in it. Now that we are in the home home shop, uh, what a homebrew shop, homebrew. Well, I'm 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 freaking out, man. But <laughs> now that we are in the homebrew channel, we will show you some of my homebrew stuff. Some of them because I have separate channels for some. So yeah, we got Cavex, which is a Minecraft clone. It's like beta Minecraft, pretty much. And you could use um, GameCube controller, classic controller, and um, nunchuck. Then we got uh, the CIOS installer. This is a basic need you would need if you want to get anything like USB loader. Then we got the homebrew browser, which only works on with Wi Fi. I don't have Wi Fi turned on right now, but that is pretty cool. Uh, Nintendo don't. Well, these two I have separate channels, but I will explain Nintendo don't. Nintendo don't is pretty much a GameCube emulator. Yaum, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's um, a WAD file installer. Doom Wii is basically the most understandable thing ever. It's a Wii port for Doom. And finally, we have a Wii MC, which lets you play DVDs on on the Wii so it's pretty much a DVD player so yeah now we could go back to the system menu real quick and um, hello. but <laughs> yeah we're gonna go back and um, yeah now that we're back here I will go here so we got um, Mario the Mario Kart deluxe Wii now this is a mod for Mario Kart Wii uh, this is the blue version but there's the green version and the red version which are in the USB loader right now because I can't get it to work with a WAD file so yeah we just have the blue version here then we got Mario 64 we got some classic um, virtual console stuff here then we got new Super Mario Brothers Wii it's also uh, from USB loader, but I just put it as a WAD. Um, here's the 10 don't. This is pretty much, of course, the GameCube game loader, but you can use um, USB loader for this. We got Tetris Party. I'm just gonna be playing Tetris on this thingy, it's not too interesting. We got Super Smash Bros, another virtual console. Then finally, we got another important and interesting app here. This is USB Loader GX. This is pretty much the most important part if you want to hack a Wii. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Now that we're in, um, we have our Wii games here. Now this is Guitar Hero, but I haven't put the photo in yet. But it's fine. I'll do it like maybe right now, but not while I'm recording. <laughs> Yeah, here's the green version and the red version. The green version pretty much adds characters from different games like Pikachu, Crash Bandicoot, Sonic. Um, the red version just gives us like skins for the main characters, like a uh, Waluigi Vampire or like Mario as a Doctor Mario. Um, got some other games like Mario Strikers, Mario uh, Super. Mario Bros. right here, Punch Out, Rayman. Then we have some of the GameCube games from the 10 Don't, like for example, Resident Evil. We got uh, some Sonic games right here. Um, SpongeBob. 
this is one of the best games ever. It's very underrated. People just think it's a cartoon game. There's um, some classics here like Super Mario Sunshine and Smash Bros. Melee. They also got Simpsons Hit One, which is also a really good game. You got WarioWare Smooth Moves. Um, we play. I don't know why I have this, but I do. And finally, we got some FIFA games for my little brother since he loves f football. And yeah, we got some Mario Double Dash, Luigi's Mansion, and this is Guitar Hero. I love how like whenever you load it in, it shows the little symbol, the hand symbol. Look at that, that's sick. But yeah, that's USB loader. It's pretty much just a loader for games that use WBFS or ISO. And yeah, Baba Booey. Baba Booey. And now we are gonna go ahead and continue. Now that we're back in the menu, we will go this way and to here. So we got Pac-Man, the NES one, because there's no other one. <laughs> we got um, the forecast channel, which I'm never going to use, which just have it because you can't delete it. Um, Mario Kart 64 is here as well. Um, Kirby and the Crystal Shards, which is Kirby 64. Um, we got, so most of these are, of course, virtual console. We got Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, Three, four, then we got Mario 1, Mario Tennis, New Super Mario Brothers World, Donkey Kong Country, and finally the news channel, but that's not too interesting, of course. And that's pretty much it for my, um, my homebrew channel. I will just show you guys the Mario Kart Deluxe thing and some, the, some of the homebrew channels. Starting off with the homebrew channel. For the homebrew channel that we're going to start off today is CaveX, which is pretty much a Minecraft type game. Let me go get my nunchuck real quick so we can start. Now that we have the nunchuck in, we could go ahead and play. So for example, let's just go to World. This is uh, pretty much basic Minecraft. The controls are down here when you play. Um, and yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good. As you guys can see, it's Minecraft. I've already uh, played a little bit of this, and yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool, you know. But yeah, that's all I gotta really say. It's just the beta version of Minecraft, so there's nothing too interesting. Um, so yeah, and press when you press home, it goes back. And you press home again, and it takes you back to the menu. And now we'll move on to Doom on the Wii. Now with Doom, I have been a really big fan of it for a long time. Have the 2016 game on the PlayStation. But yeah, this is pretty much a WAD file opener. Could start. Now, I don't really like the controls for this one because it's kind of odd. Um, but yeah. It's kind of, it's like kind of confusing. Like you need to do, you, you need to move your, um, look at this. You need to move your Wii, contr Wii mode to move the camera, which I actually do not like, because they could have just like make, made it like so the walking would be with this, and the moving the joist, moving the camera around would be with the nunchuck, like the Minecraft port, but it's, it's like this, because of course we need motion controls, right? No, we don't. So <laughs> I'm gonna just stop playing this. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good port. It's just the controls kind of suck. Um, and yeah, the other stuff that I have here aren't really too interesting. So we will be going to the Mario Kart mod, which is also known as uh, Mario Kart uh, Deluxe. So let's go ahead. Now I will be using the green version, which has the characters from different games for um, this video but yeah it's it's pretty um, good mod as you guys can see it has all the saves that you had in the original Mario Kart in and it also unlocks every map and every character right from the get-go so yeah it's pretty good and 
Yeah, we're gonna go to first mode. Soul race. And here's the characters that we have right here. Cappy. Um, pretty much like characters from different games. I like the shadow model pretty much the most. So I would be using shadow. Um, there's some cars from... Of course, there's cars from the original game. Uh, there's um, a lot of maps still. Let me just to show you this. So it's from the NES. Mario 64. Um, DS. Double Dash. Us. Uh, Circuit, so Game Boy, um, and there's also some fan-made stuff. There's a, of course, the Switch games. Let me go back real quick. There's a Switch and Tour. So there's some Tour maps, some Switch, Wii U, um, and finally, right here, starts with like all the special stuff here. Like for example, we got RMX, which I don't know what it is for, but I guess it's about Bowser Castle, as you guys can tell. But there's Donkey Kong Racing, I mean Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, there's um, some Sonic. Yeah, there's Diddy Kong Racing. There's uh, Crash Bandicoot. Um, there's some cool stuff here. There's like Sonic Adventure. But if you guys could tell, there's so many maps in this game. It's just crazy. I was first thinking about getting uh, the Revolution mod, but it did not let me because I don't have an SD card. You do need an SD card to play that mod. But yeah, so then I found out about this mod, which is called, of course, Mario um, Kart Wii Deluxe. And it w it worked with um, USB loader, so I was pretty happy. I didn't need to use my actual game CD because that was kind of, that was kind of risky. Um, and I did not have an SD card, of course. So yeah, I use a USB. But let's just go ahead and show you guys my favorite map from this mod. And I think almost everyone likes this one. Um, Yes, yeah, the Minecraft level. It's pretty cool. It, it takes you through Nether. I'm not really gonna race since I have one hand working, but I will try my best. <laughs> oh, I can't even race, man. I don't got the. Whatever. I'll do it like this, but. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to race with one hand, but I'll just show you guys the map. So here's um, the desert from Minecraft, and then we go to the portal, and it takes you to the nether. And down here, we could go down here, oh shoot, it's, it's kind of hard with one hand, but yeah, I'm trying my best here. And then it takes you to the mushroom, the secret place in Minecraft. I don't really know anything about Minecraft too good, but I know this is like a secret mm, part of the map or something. It's like with mushroom cows and stuff. But then you go down this bridge and then it loops itself. So yeah, that's pretty much Mario Kart uh, Wii Deluxe. It has Fan-made maps, all maps from every Mario Kart game to known to man. Maps from, I don't know, a, like a different racing game you never heard of, like Nick Nickelodeon Racing. And it's pretty cool, you know. And yeah, this is why you should mod your Wii. I don't know, man. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff to do. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Bye. See you guys in a... Later, I guess. So yeah, bye.